the unclean spirit to come out of the man. Lose him and let him go. Well, well. I think it's important for us to uh, talk about this text today. All right. Because I have spent a whole lot of Sundays telling you all about the goodness of God. Yes. And you all well know how to tell me that the Lord is my shepherd, yes. all right? yes. and I shall not want. Yes. But if the goodness of God is not enough, Right. To draw you to him. Mm. To inspire you to give him his old praise. Uh -huh. If it's not enough uh -huh. to cause you to want to be in his strong hands. Mm -hmm. If telling you about the goodness of God is not enough to make you want to be saved for sure. Well, y'all, y'all hear it? Yeah. If, if, if telling you about the goodness of God uh -huh. Uh -huh. is not enough to move you toward repentance, right. then I think we ought to talk about the alternative. Right. We ought to uh, talk about what happens when we do not submit to God? All right, all right. All right. When we do not obey God. Yes, sir, all right. And when we do not allow him to come into our hearts. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand something about how we were created and how we were purposely designed. God, when he created us, he left a place in our hearts yeah. that was specifically designed for him to dwell. Right. Right. Are y'all hearing this? Yes, he, he, he left a place in all of our hearts mm -hmm. that was specifically designed for him to dwell. All right. All right. And I think at some point in our life, we ought to recognize that and allow God to take his rightful place. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. But may I tell you that for however long we don't allow him to dwell there, yes. something or somebody will. That's right. Are you all yes. yes. The place was designed for God. Right. All right, all right. But if you will not allow him to dwell in that place, yeah. Yeah. something or somebody yeah. is going to dwell there. Yeah. All yeah. right, man. They used to have a song that said, looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> that without God in his rightful place, right. there is a void in our life. Right. Right. Y'all hear me? Is there something that makes us feel incomplete? Yeah. You, you understand? It makes us not feel whole. It, it makes us want something even though we don't know what we want. Right. Are y'all right. here? Yeah. It makes us do something even if what we're doing don't make no sense. Right. Are y'all here? It, it, it just makes us have this feeling that I got to take some kind of action, whether it's a good action or a bad action. And I'm seeing folk every day who are doing things to their bodies that make them look worse than they looked before they did. Are like y'all here? Amen. Speak up. All because they're in the pursuit of happiness. Because without him, you can't get it. All right. Are y'all hearing the good? Yeah, man. Yeah. The place was designed for God. That's right. But if you don't allow him to occupy his rightful place, all right, all right. you have to be careful because the same Bible that tells us that there is a God right. also tells us that there's a devil. All right. Are y'all yes, hearing me? And the devil has always wanted to occupy God's space. All right. He always wanted to be right. greater than God. Yes, he, he's in competition with God. 
God. He's dying for your soul. And his desire is to take control. Now y'all hear it. Yeah, man. And the problem is that the devil is not stronger than God. Hallelujah. Are y'all here? Yeah. But God is a gentle spirit. Right. So he's not going to intrude. He's not going to bust your door down. He's not going to force you to accept him. He says, Behold, I stand with outstretched arms. Are y'all here? Yeah. He says, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm not in a I keep hearing folk who all of you believe talking about mama you done died now I don't know what I'm going to do I think if you 60 and 50 something and your mama died you ought to be trying to do whatever she did that made you feel that way about her so your children will feel that way about you are y'all hearing me? yeah yes thank you yes sir we have to understand yes, that the devil don't get no glory, but I think you all know that he's real. Yeah, are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. And there are spirits that we got to talk about. Okay. And in our text, we find that the scripture said there was a man who had an unclean spirit. All right. Uh, a foul spirit uh -huh. contrary to the spirit of God. Yes. All right. Yes, and this man, if you look at the compilation of the Gospels, not just Mark's account, but this man was in a bad shape. Uh -huh. And if you read the whole uh, incident in its entirety, you find that the man wasn't always that way. Right. Are y'all hearing me? All right. All right. How do I know that? Because in verse 19, when Jesus, after he cast out the devil, and the man wanted to go with Jesus, the scripture said he did not allow him to go, but he said, go home to your friends yeah. and tell them how great things the Lord has done for you. How the Lord have had compassion on him. But on the outset of this story, mm -hmm. they describe a man mm -hmm. who was what we would call a madman. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He dwelled or he lived where none of us would venture to live. All right. One writer said that he was naked. He didn't wear even no clothes. Uh -huh. He was in bad shape. Yes, he was. Most of us, you know, don't have such confidence in ourselves that we would want to walk around in public naked. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. But he dwelt in or uh, among the tombs, yeah. in the mountains, a place of solitude. And seemingly there, he didn't have no fear. Mm. Certainly his fear was not as our fear. All right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Not only did he dwell in the tombs, yes, sir. Uh, but he also, while there, the scripture says, he, he had was there night and day in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And with those rocks from broken tombs and uh -huh. broken parts of the mountain, he took those rocks and was cutting himself with the stones and crying. Now we can continue to come in this place as if though everything is all right. All right, man. We can pat a pity pat praise uh -huh. like we don't have no children on drugs. Come on, uh -huh. man, now. We can just nod our heads yeah. and fold our arms like everything is all right with our family. Yeah. Speak, man, yeah. speak. Yeah. We can make believe. We are. We didn't know how to make believe. We can make believe that everything is just right in yeah. life. You can play like you got a real, real good husband. Y'all ain't saying that. You, you can play like 
you got a good wife. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Everything is just like you want it to be. Uh -huh. yeah. There go now. No need to cry out to God in the house of God. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yes, yeah, sir, man. And then wonder why things are still the same. Uh -huh. My right. book tell you how not. Yeah, because you ask not. All right. And when you ask, you ask for me. Uh-huh. we ask not deserving. Well, we're not deserving. Why can't we do line up so we are deserving? Yeah. Are y'all here? Yes, If sir. you tell your child, no, they can't have something, don't you describe some parameters? Yes, sir. Don't you say because you didn't take out the trash like uh -huh. I told you to? Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not going to the fair not because I don't have fair money. Come on, man. Yeah, That's why we need to go in. You're not, not yeah. going to go to the fair because I got money for the fair, but your report card. Yeah, oh, y'all understand yeah, this? Yeah. Do you think God, just because God has everything, on, that he got to give us everything, regardless of whether we do what he told us yeah. to do or not? Yeah. I think not. We have to understand that God is God. That God is real. Yes, sir. And He's worthy of praise. Nobody has to remind me to praise Him. Are y'all hearing me? When I, the few times I've been to the movie, Nobody had to remind me to look at the screen and tell me to pay attention deep to the movie. You understand that? Only in the place of worship, when we say we come to worship, come on, man. Do we have to be reminded? Come on, man. Uh, even then, act like say that. we came here for God to worship us. Say that, man. Yes, like sir. we woke God up. Yeah. Instead yeah. of God having yeah. woke us up. Man, yes, sir. Y'all in here? Man, yes, sir. Oh, this man was possessed with an unclean spirit. Yes, Let me tell you this, all of us have a spirit. Yes. Yeah. And all of us have that place that we started out talking about. Uh -huh. And if you don't allow God to occupy his rightful place. Uh, and you're not careful, the devil will occupy that space. All right. Then you will wind up being what we call demon possessed. That means the demon owns you, he owns that space in you. And the problem with being demon possessing, we're in a society where people don't want to talk about it and they try to call it something else. You know how folk come out, they got a split personality. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yeah. Yeah. Folk right here, yeah, 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 they're talking about their bipolar. Yeah. Now there are some bipolar people by definition, but yeah. some of the folk you try to call bipolar, they're not bipolar, they're demon possessed. Yeah. See, the love of God dwelling in your heart will never cause you to want to hurt your own self, first of all. Amen. All right. Are y'all understanding this so far? Yes, sir. Yes. When the love of God is in your heart, yes, sir. it will not cause or allow you to hurt your own self. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And yeah. not only that, when the love of God is in your heart, it will not allow you or cause you to intentionally hurt anybody else. All right. But this man, possessed with devils, had an unclean spirit that controlled the man. All right. Y'all got to hear this? Yes, sir. His dwelling was in the tomb. There was nobody that wanted to hang around him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you are full of demons and you got an unclean spirit, uh -huh. nobody except 
except they are like you. All right. It's going to want to hang around here. Yeah. He dwelt in solitude in the mountains among the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And it didn't say cutting himself with stones and crying. Mm -hmm. Are y'all seeing this? Uh -huh. So he wasn't crying because he had cut himself. All right, all right. He was crying and he cut himself. All right. Are y'all going to get this? Yeah, yeah. The, the crying was because he could not help the things that he was doing. He could not help the person that he had become. And the reason he had become the person he was was because instead of allowing God to take his rightful place, he allowed the devil God's yes, sir. Right it will make you cry. Yeah. Because if God is still reaching out to you. Uh -huh. And you know that there is a God. And the devil is causing you to say bad things about God. Right. To reject God. Yeah. To despise God. And despise his ways. Uh -huh. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. It will make you cry. Yeah. It will keep you sad. Mm -hmm. Have you in depression? Yes, yeah. Feeling like life is not worth living. Yeah. Got more than most folk have. Yeah. And still no satisfaction. Right. Hallelujah, man. In the tomb, yeah. naked, alone, destitute, crying yeah. and cutting himself with stones. We have to understand that some of this we set up in our children from youth. Mm -hmm. For the book I read says plainly that foolishness uh -huh. is bound in the heart of a child. Right. Yeah. But the rod of correction yeah. will drive it far from him. Yeah. Yeah. Foolishness, it says, yeah. is found in the heart of a child. Right. But the rod of correction will drive it far from him. Yeah. Other words, what it's saying, my kind of way, the ghetto way, is yeah. it's saying your child is going to do some stupid stuff. Y'all are just saying that. But you got to hit him on the boom. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We got this new stuff. Mm -hmm. Talking about how mama and them raised us was cruel mm. because mm. they whooped us mm. and punished us. Uh -huh. So children now mm -hmm. can get multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you want vegetables? Uh, an uh, ice cream sandwich. Man, that's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. On, preacher. Yeah. They, they, they get multiple choice. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to be a girl? Oh, no. Man, speak. Or uh, do you want to be a boy? Speak, man. I didn't say that. Yes, sir. Uh, speak, man. The concern that we used to have, uh -huh. we don't have no more. Yeah. If you have a baby girl that was like my little girl, bone ball head, y'all ain't saying that. As soon as you got them, they had to put a bow red or something on there. You put it on there, so nobody wouldn't be saying, ooh, he's so cute. Come on, man. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. 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 Quicker you can get them heels pierced, you That's right. go and put some holes in her heels and make sure they can yeah. put some shine in your hands. And now we just kind of let them decide. Yeah. Are we flip a coin and we decide? Y'all ain't saying that. Yes, sir. But you're going to have to understand that just as real as God heals, the devil is real also. All right. He wants to take stuff that we consider as innocent, stuff that we feel we have a right to do. Y'all listening? He wants to take stuff that we think is harmless and then cause us to fight to be wrong. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do you hear that? Yeah. We fight in this society. We fight for a right to be 
be wrong. And then wonder why God ain't moving. All right. I still believe he can still give sight to the blind. Yes, he can. I, I still believe he can raise the dead. Are y'all here? Yes, sir. The man was like some of our children, doing stuff that we have no idea why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. If that baby looked too much like an angel for you to chastise now, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. It ain't gonna be looking like no angel later on. That's right. All right. And it is some people that's gonna chastise them. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to whoop them, but when I worked in Central at the prison, they used to whoop them in the laundry room. That's All right. right. You, you know what I'm talking about. That's right. Yeah. Uh, they, they were whoop boys who didn't get whooped. Mm -hmm. We have them come up thinking that the world owed them something. Yeah. And the reality is the world don't owe them nothing. Yeah, that's right. But if we all put some God in them. Well, what you're doing is allowing the devil to get them. Yeah. yeah. I can't plan this out no better for you. That's right. And, and I, we ought to be able to just go on from this much. Yeah, yes, sir. But the devil is real. And his objective in John 10 and 10 says he comes just to kill. To steal and to destroy. That's what he comes for. He's uh -huh. not your friend. Yeah. He comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Man. This man, and I don't need to keep talking about him. Mm -hmm. He got delivered. Right. Yeah. That's right. But that we understand his state mm -hmm. so that we can recognize that there's some folk in our house. They're just as bad off as him. Uh oh, bad man. If we're fucking our church, just as bad off as him. Yeah. Somebody just say, man, for the thing. So the Yes, sir. <laughs> Always, both night and day. Yeah. That's where he stayed. Yeah. yeah. Crying. Cut himself with stones. Yeah. Said that no man couldn't tame him. They tried tying him up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over time he was able to rub until they break a loose. Yeah. Like some of us are, the law of God try to tame us and train us. Uh -huh. But we're not going to be tamed. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be tamed. We're grown. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. And we're going to do whatever we're big and bad enough to do. Yeah. But if God was in his rightful place, yes. the devil wouldn't have no entry. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. Ephesians, what is that, 5 and uh, 4 and 27, tells us to Give no place to the devil. Right. They used to sing a song that said, Don't let the devil ride. Because if you let him ride, he's going to want to drive. Yeah. So don't let him ride. That's true. Yes, sir. Some of us are letting him ride and thinking that we just going to let him go how far we want to go. All right. But that's the problem with the devil. You can't regulate him. He's not going to be bound by rules. Are y'all here? Amen. He's not going to be bound by your wishes or your desires. Yeah. When you let it in, you can't put it out. Are y'all here? Yeah. This is why he said, give no place to the devil. Don't let him occupy the place that rightly belongs to God. Amen. Because there is danger in allowing the devil to occupy your heart. 
Yes, he is. Are you all here? Yes, yes. He'll take you farther than you want to go. Uh -huh. And keep you longer than you want to stay. Yeah. That's, right. That's just how he operates. That's right. That's right. You, you know, I used to, I told y'all before, I used to have a supervisor at the post office. She's dead now, but I used to play with her all the time. And she kind of had like her own system. And I'd go on break and she'd come in there and see me in the break room. And she asked me, what time did I come in there? And I look at my watch and whatever time it was then, I just tell them that's what time I came. <laughs> you understand? I was just playing with them, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> but she told me, all right, if you lie, you're still. Mm -hmm. And she had a good point. Once the devil gets you to engage in one thing, all right. All right. he always wants to it. And get you to do something else. Yeah. Not necessarily even related, but once you do one thing and, and, and it doesn't kill you, are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Then it causes you to just go ahead and it emboldens yeah. you yeah. to do something else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Told you before, cigarette pack says right there on the side <laughs> can cause cancer. I'm not preaching about smoking. That's your choice and your right. Uh -huh. There ain't nothing in the Bible about it, but the point I want to make is the pack says on the side of it. All right. Smoking can cause cancer. All right, sir. And I don't know if you read it every time or not, but I don't believe there's nobody that smokes that hasn't read it at least one time. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> and the fact that you can pack it and smoke it and just on those power and die, mm -hmm. causes you to keep on doing it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And not only that, but right. for some folk, they smoke some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And yeah. become consumed with this foolishness. Yeah. And soon the devil will have your whole mind oh, yeah. and your heart. Oh, yeah. It's one thing for him to get in your mind. Because I've told you many times, no matter where you got saved or how long you've been saved, the devil has free reign in your mind. That's why the scripture says we have to renew our mind with the word of God. He has access, what I'm saying, to our mind. He can put thoughts in our mind. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. He can give us dreams and sometimes the devil will give you a thought or a dream and you jump up talking about it was God. Y'all hear me? That's why the scripture says, my sheep hear my voice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I know yeah. they're not going to follow. Yeah. So you can't let him occupy your heart. Amen. But if you refuse to allow Jesus, the one who Sound at the door of your heart and knock. Yeah, sir. Sunday after Sunday. Yeah. We let the invitation bypass us. All right. With the hopes that if we die, we, we, we got enough Sundays in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make up some good stuff about it. Uh, Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Not just because I'm the pastor, but when I die, and I didn't say if I die, but when I die, yes, sir. I don't want nobody wondering if I love the Lord. All right. Yeah. I don't want nobody guessing about whether or not the Lord was in my heart. Right. I don't want nobody guessing if I knew how to treat my fellow man. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Because I told you many times, folk will lie on you when you're living in life for you when you're dead. But right. it's really not going to matter. Depart from me. I know you're not. Yeah. Your work was of iniquity. Yes, 
And the reason I'm so careful with it is because the scripture said many in that day are going to say, Lord, I cast out devils in your name. All right, come on, man. Many are going to say, I visited the sick in your name. Uh -huh. Many are going to say, I did this or that in your name. Yeah. Still, he's going to say, depart from me. Uh -huh. I know you're not. Your word was of iniquity. Uh -huh. This man, this man, this man, it says he, whenever he had been bound with feathers and chains, that he had the ability to pluck asunder yeah. the feathers and broken pieces. Yes, yeah, sir. And it said, neither then could any man tame him. Uh -huh. And he didn't just go by the mountain and the tombs some days. All right. But it said always, night and day, yes, sir. he was in the mountains. Well, you yes. know, the other day I had somebody tell me about a young lady that passed away. Uh -huh. And she's not the only one that I know that this situation happened, but somebody put something in her drink. She was an intelligent, smart person, but from there, she lost her mind. And this is why we have to be careful where we are and be careful about our surroundings. All right. Because as the scripture says, the love of men is going to wax cold in these days. Amen. And people don't care whether you live or die. Yes, sir. People, you know, when they get whatever, they won't they don't care what it takes to get what they want from you. Uh -huh. Never mind that it's going to ruin you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be careful about your surroundings. Uh -huh. You got to be careful about what you call a good time. Well, Y'all ain't sleep on you. You got to be careful about who you think is a good crowd. Yeah. All right. Because if you're not careful, the devil will creep in and you lose your mind. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. Well, the Bible said that occasion with this man. But Jesus and his disciples had uh, just got on the boat to go to the other side of the lake. All right. And uh, on that way to the other side, Jesus had uh, mm, come a stone. All right. Had uh, spoke to the winds yes, and the waves. Yes, sir. And ordered them to be still. Amen. And now, as they get to the other side. Well. Some are thinking that this was a getaway. Mm -hmm. A time to relax. Right. Yeah. But the scripture says as soon as they got uh -huh. to the other side, uh -huh. this possessed demon possessed man, as he saw them, he saw Jesus. And he came out of the tomb. Yeah. Yeah. Why when I mean, you talking about folk are bipolar mm -hmm. and folk got a split personality? Yeah. The man saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, the man and the spirit saw Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And the spirit recognized who Jesus yeah. was. Yeah. And I told you many times that when folk always talk about the devil is in the church, the truth of the matter is the devil can't stand to be around nothing holy. All right. All right. All right. All right. You don't right. have a problem hanging around folk that pretend to be holy. All right. Are y'all here? All right. Now, you don't have a problem hanging around church folk. But the devil cannot stand sir. to be around anything holy. All right. And he recognized because the scripture says even the devils believe that there is a God. Right. And they tremble. Yes, sir. But they will not be saved. Yes, sir. And if you're not careful, they will not allow you to be saved. Amen. The Bible says when he saw Jesus afar off. Yes, sir. He ran and worshipped him. Yeah. 
not the Mita, the demon worshiping him. All right. This was the man who was right. crying, worshiping. All right. All right. All right. Not the man who was cutting himself. Oh, right. All right. Yeah. Right. yeah. The man yeah. who had some decency in him yeah. before the yeah. evil spirit took him. All right. All right. He now comes and worships Jesus. Yeah. And the Bible says now the demon using the man's voice. And by the way, I want to tell you, this happened this way, but I've been in church services where demons were had to be cast out. I mean, in real time, where the demons would cry out. And it could be a lady who sang soprano, and she's crying out with a voice deeper than I could ever get my voice to go. Well, well. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Elder mm -hmm. Rudolph testified to see him. A girl demon possessed and was slaying me and his size off of him like it wasn't nothing. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Because you get strength. They are strong. This mad man was strong. Yeah. You know when we say folk are afflicted or whatever we want to call it, you always know those are strong people and you're not trying to get in their way because you don't know what kind of mood they are. Right. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's kind of like well, ever since I heard that uh, you back a cat into a corner, what he'll do to you. I've always been afraid of cats. Mm -hmm. Not not nothing I did to him, but I don't know what somebody did before I got there. Yeah. You always say that. <laughs> and when you got folk who got all this extra strength, yeah. mm -hmm. last thing you want to do mm -hmm. is mess with them. Amen. Amen. But he saw Jesus afar off. He ran and worshiped because even those who are demon possessed, typically that that person inside that is crying out for deliverance. Uh -huh. Except that typically when they get to a place where they could be delivered, they can't be still. All right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. I seen folk come in here who I know was strung out on drugs. Uh -huh. As long as you're saying they all right, but when that word comes, it make them have to go to the bathroom. Uh -huh. Are y'all here? I see it at funeral services when they can sit down through the whole service until you start trying to tell them how they can deal with this loss. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Then one of them jump up and run out, and ten more got to go see about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> If they were able to see about you, y'all should have stayed where they were. That's right. That's right. Y'all right. hear me? Amen. Don't ask me to help you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> if when I get ready to say what should help you feel better, uh -huh. all of a sudden you got to go. Yeah. That's right. Oh, y'all hear me? Yeah, man. Amen. Preach. We try to encourage folk yeah. to accept the Lord. Yeah. But when we get to the point of invitation, the I, I, the sand have gone out of our hourglass. Uh -huh. Time up, preacher, you should have been finished. Speak, mm -hmm. man. And if that person see us trying to get them to come, but see you going out the door, yeah, right. mm -hmm. they're ready to go out the door also. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's time now. <laughs> Somebody got to get real. And somebody going to have to submit to God. Mm. We're living in some days where you don't know whether you're going to be here next week or not. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about because you may be on vacation. <laughs> but I'm talking about we don't know whether we'll be alive That's or right. dead That's this right. time That's next right. week. Yeah. Yeah. For that matter, this time tomorrow, That's right. we don't know if we'll be alive or dead. That's right. The man saw Jesus uh -huh. from afar. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The man worshipped him, but the demon cried out mm -hmm. with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, call him by name, yeah. thy son of the most high God. Yeah. See, the man wouldn't have recognized this. Are y'all here? Yeah. He says, I adjure thee by God that yeah. thou torment me not. Essentially what he's saying, the living God who created you, the living God.
God knows that it's not my time yet. And I'm begging you that you stay in line with the will of God All and right. don't turn at me before the time. All right. All right. See, this is the crazy thing about the devil. He knows for sure he's going to hell. Uh -huh. yes. Hell is created. It wasn't created for man. It was created for the devil and his angels. All right now. But if you die allowing the devil to occupy God's face in your heart. All right. In hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Yes, sir. And I'm kind of not to want to encourage the family so bad until I start telling them that everything was fine. Are y'all hearing me? Uh -huh. I was looking at a film the other day that really got me concerned about the church and the body of Christ. I'm not trying to justify your life while you're dead in front of a people who are just like you. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. And then wind up everybody living however they want to live yeah. mm -hmm. and expecting God to be satisfied. Uh -huh. God has never made a mistake. Yeah. And whatever God made you, that's what he intended for you to be. Uh -huh. I don't care what the law says. Come on up. Amen. But the bottom line is, yeah. I'm not, I want you to be encouraged, and this is why I'm trying to tell you before somebody dies, uh -huh. that God's still calling for righteousness. Yeah. And what God didn't like 2,000 years ago, he still don't like today. All right. Are oh, y'all here? Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to try to be of my best and tell you you okay to live your way. Crying with a loud voice, saying, don't torment us in essence before the time. Yes, sir. He said unto him, Jesus said unto the demon, not to the man, he says, come out of the man. Yeah. And call him what he was, you are unclean spirit. Yeah. All right. Some folk, if they had recognized the unclean spirit, their marriage could still be intact. Well, but instead of dealing with the unclean spirit, we dealt with the spouse. Are y'all here? All right, all right. The devil who comes in to kill, steal, and destroy, if we don't recognize him for who he is and what he is doing, everything will be destroyed. Yes, sir. Everything will wind up being dead. I don't care how good a, I hear folk talking about, well, he this and he that, but he's a good provider. I don't care if he can't provide you some sanity and some peace of mind. Y'all ain't saying You better try to free yourself. All right. Hit it right. Hit it some pork chops. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. Jesus told him to come out of the man. Yeah. Your unclean spirit. Yeah. And then Jesus asked the man, what is your name? Mm -hmm. yeah. He asked the man, right. All right. what is your name? And whenever Jesus or God asks somebody a question, it's never because he doesn't know the answer. That's right. 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 The purpose of asking the question is so that the person he asked the question to can recognize what the answer is themselves. Right. And the God when Adam and Eve had sinned, uh -huh. and he called and said, yeah. Adam, where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Adam wasn't in no good enough hiding place where God couldn't see That's him. Right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. But he asked him so that he could see where he was. Uh -huh. When he says to him, What hast thou done? Mm. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. He was asking so that he could realize what he had done. God already knew what he had done. Yeah. When he says to him, who told you you was naked? Oh, Have you right. eaten off of the oh, tree right. that I commanded you not to eat of? He was asking for him, not for God. Amen. Amen. Whenever God asks a question, it's not
not for God himself, but it's always for the person he asked the question of. Amen. When he asked the man, what is your name? And I wish y'all in a better mood. <laughs> I could ask some of y'all, what is your name? Is your name liar? Y'all ain't saying that. What is your name? Yeah. Is your name Peace Breaker? All right. What is your name? He asked the man, What is your name? And the demon answered. The unclean spirit answered and said, My name is Legion. For we are many. That is to say, it was not just one unclean That's right. spirit, yes. All right. Right. but the unclean spirit had company. Right. For I, Jesus said one time that when unclean spirit is going out of a man, yeah. and he comes and sweeps his house and cleans it up, well, that unclean spirit leaves looking for dry or comfortable places to land uh -huh. and can't find nowhere, it comes right back to the man. Oh, it comes right. right back to the same house. Uh -huh. Are here? And it says he don't come by himself, but he brings yes, other Lord. spirits along oh, with right, him. Right. The devil never is enough for the devil to have his way with you. All right. But he also wants to bring company. Yes, sir. And if you think one devil is hard to deal with, yeah. right. then you try dealing with a legion of unclean spirits. Yeah. Uh, it won't take long to where they have wrong looking right. That's right. And right looking wrong. Yeah. He said, my name is legion, yes, but we are many. Yeah. And the Bible said he begged him, or the Lord, that he would not send them away out of the country, or the other writer said out of that region. Mm -hmm. In other words, once the unclean spirit finds a dwelling place in your heart, All right. he don't want to be evicted, All right. or he don't want to be sent too far away. All right. Because his intention is to come back. All right. So that's why when you see folks sometimes who say, I'm saying that. Uh -huh. I don't go out no more. I don't drink no more. I don't party no more. And that's not what determines whether or not you say. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But right. there's this misconception that folk have that I don't do this or if I don't do that, then I'm saved. Uh -huh. Now, true enough, some stuff, if you get saved, you shouldn't do no more. Right. But the right. fact that you stop doing it, you only send them, yeah. then automatically make you say. Right. You know, let me give you another analogy. Uh -huh. If you're married, you ought not be running around. That's right. Are here? And you ought not be sleeping around if you're married. All right. But just because you don't run around, uh -huh. don't make you be married. You know what saying? Right. Right. You still got to find a spouse. You you still got to have a wedding. Are y'all here? Right. You still got to make some vows in order to be married. Right. So just because you quit this or quit that, other words, what I'm saying, self-reform won't do you no good. Right. You can't clean yourself up good enough for you to be saved. That's right. And then we hear him saying that he will not dwell in an unclean place. And that is ever true, but the, the good news is the reason he don't have to dwell in an unclean place is because when he come in, he cleans it up himself. And God can clean you up better than you will ever be able to clean yourself up.
If you agree that Jesus has the power, yeah. even our wife's family members, you ought to convince them to come and see him. Yeah. All right. You ought to convince them so they just like the man can hear the word of God and come right. Yeah. You ought to tell your neighbor, yeah. I'm not just going to church every Sunday, but I go for a reason. Something 
that nobody could deny. All right, all they right. They asked him, could they go into the herd of the swine? Uh -huh. One writer said there were 2,000 hogs there. Yeah. And uh, Jesus gave them leave and permission to go into the herd of swine. And the Bible said, shut, that uh, forthwith he gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out of the man uh -huh. and entered into the swamp. Yes, sir. And the hood ran violently yeah. down a steep place into the sea. Yes, sir. They were about 2,000 and they were choked in the sea. Amen. And also, I believe he allowed this so that you could see the power yeah. that the unclean spirit had with the permission of God. Uh -huh. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Without God, they don't have the permission. Right. You know about what happened with Job. The devil had to get permission to That's afflict right. Job. Right. He first had to get permission to mess with Job's That's stuff. Then he had to come back and get permission to mess with Job's body. And even then, the Lord told him, you can have it and you can do what you will, but don't take his life. Are y'all hearing me? The devil has to have permission from God whenever you have God. But if you do not allow God to occupy his space, then the devil can rule in that place. When the man came and worship God, that's the first step. Yeah, you got to find your way to the house of God, to the man or the woman of God. You got to find your way to where the holiness and the rightness is going on so that you can sense the power of God. He allowed them to see what the spirit did to your heart. In other words, this is the same thing that it can do to you and I if the Lord take his hand away. I'm happy I said uh, that the Lord uh, got me in his hand. I'm glad to be in the hand of the Lord. Come my way. I look to the Lord. 
go home. Tell the words if he went on the other side of the lake. Nobody over there knew him when he wasn't in his right mind. Nobody over there knew him when he was in the tombs cutting himself. Nobody over on the other side knew him. Yes, sir. When he was walking around naked. Yeah. So the testimony wouldn't have been as effective. That's right, yes, sir. But go back. Amen. In that same neighborhood. Yeah. Go back to the people that used to run from you. Yeah. Go back to the people that died you. Go show them what great things the Lord have done. And if God has done anything for you, you ought to be able to go and show somebody. Instead of trying to show them how you feel just like them. Y'all ain't said that. You ought to go and show them that God is able to affect a change. You need to be changed. I need to be changed. You need to be better. I need to be better. And there is a God who's able to make us all better. They get pre saved. They never pre saved, they all old set. They read to get in the pulpit. They read to evangelize. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Read to go to New York and California and run me. Uh -huh. You ain't convinced nobody in Joseph Cola. All right. You ain't convinced nobody right. in your house. Are y'all here? You ain't convinced nobody in your neighborhood. You haven't convinced anybody anywhere. Jesus told them, go show your friends. In other words, that means he wasn't always crazy. He wasn't always a madman. But at some point, the devil took over and possessed him. We got children who we know they were just such darlings. I remember when my son was a baby. And then Sunday, after I get through preaching, got my little check. <laughs> I'd go take it over there to Morris and pick a dinner, whatever it was, and I'd give it to them. And my son had, as a baby, he had longer hair than him and uh, three girls. And I mean, it was some good curly waves in here. Uh -huh. He was just a baby sitting in the carriage, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And we would sit it on the table, uh, wherever we were eating, we'd sit the carry on the table, and they would walk by there, oh, Cookie, he's so, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Get. You got, they got right. more stuff in their room than you 
you got in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> and that's supposed to be effective. And then when they get to the point to where we can't do nothing with them. Mm -hmm. And you know what they're going to say? Where's the preacher? I've been here every Sunday. Mm -hmm. You understand that. With the exception of a few here lately. I've not been missing in action. Yes, sir. But you have to bring them. Uh -huh. Y'all understand this? Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to go break up the guy's game. That's right. I'm not going to go get in the middle of their sale. Uh -huh. if, if the scripture says he bring it to your remembrance, but you can't remember something you ain't never heard. That's right. And see, when you tell me to come talk to your boy because I'm the preacher, if he don't know what a preacher is or have no regard or respect for the preacher, that's not going to work. You just wear the head man at Christmas to do it. Yeah. Or right. like McDonald's or whatever. Y'all yeah. understand this? Right. And if you don't have any respect for the preacher, he's not going to have any either. If you don't have any respect for church, he's not going to have any either. If you don't want to go to church, she's not going to want to go to church either. Are y'all hearing me? God bless you. God keep you. We can finish this another day. I just stop right there with that. But I, I'm not going to forget where I left off at. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because it's time for us to get our community back, our home, our families, and our children. Because the people who are making decisions on what to do about it, they're not good decisions. Listen to me. When they start all these shootings, they keep having and the first thing these people say is, guns don't kill people. People pe kill people. So why regulate guns? Y'all hear that logic? They say it every time. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Well, that's, if that's going to only leave it right there, why do people kill people? Because people are demon possessed because the devil is running rapid and having his way. Wherever you give him a little infant, yeah. he's going to take charge. Yeah. In the country, in the state, in the county, in the city, in your neighborhood, and in your home, he's going to take control. Folks sitting back to early and to prayer out in the school. Prayer had to be taken out of home before it could be taken out of the school. All right. Amen. Furthermore, when your children are going to school with other folks, y'all prayers are different prayers. That's right. Remember, they all said they worshiping God. But when Obama first became president, they took something out of the scripture and called that their prayer. The Obama prayer. Pray that his wife become a widow. That his children become fatherless. That's in the scripture, but they took it out of context. And they said that was their prayer for Obama, who had done nothing for them, to them. Yeah. You're living with people who fight for a right to be able to carry assault weapons. And you don't, you don't even want to vet their record, much less their heart. Y'all understand me? Yeah. Yeah. The heart. Out of it flow the inches of life. I don't care how good somebody talk or how much good you say about them. It's some demon-possessed folk. When a man come, a white boy come in a church full of black people who embraced him and showed him nothing Amen. but kindness Amen. and love. Calm them down. And when the police come, they stop him by Burger King to get him something to eat. Yeah. Yeah, you better get hold of your children. Yeah. I don't care if they grow or not. Amen. You better start speaking to God on their behalf. You better get close enough to God so that you can ask and not ask amiss. You got. You're gonna have to do this thing to God. 